In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I welcome you again to another moment of Good Night Soul Digest. The food for the soul. Our soul needs food, so every day we give the soul food. I welcome you again, beloved. Our topic of today is Do not allow prayer to be a burden to you. Prayer should not be a burden. What is a burden? When you say that somebody is carrying a burden, it means that the person is carrying a load. Okay, it means the thing is very difficult to do. He is dragging his feet, he is struggling. Okay, so many people are struggling to pray. Let us talk about this. Many people struggle to pray, and when you struggle to pray, prayer seems to be like a burden. Okay. It seems to be like a burden because during prayers you do not see the person you pray with or like when you are discussing with your fellow human being like you are discussing with somebody face to face as you are discussing with the with the person you know that you are seeing the person face to face but during prayers it looks as if we are talking to an unknown person so sometimes many people grow weak okay secondly many people just pray for the sake of something maybe they are praying that God will do something. They are praying for miracle. They are praying for breakthrough. They are praying for sickness. Uh, um, that God will heal them. You know, they are praying that God will uplift them. And when those things they seek for do not comfort, they lose faith. They lose that uh, that intense desire to pray. And it will begin. It will look as if God does not hear prayers again. Third is that many of us also find it very hard to pray because of the sense of guilt maybe when we remember our past when we remember our mistakes we say oh would God hear me God may not hear what I am saying um, I cannot I cannot be able to pray to God can God hear me so because of the, this sense of guilt we feel so reluctant to pray another one is when we, uh, when we are just very weak to pray we Whenever prayer is mentioned, we feel so tired, you know, we feel that we are not able to do that, you know, we feel that how can we go in the presence of God. So you, you begin to see yourself as somebody who is not worthy to pray and you begin to look for someone to pray for you. So because of this, many of us see prayer as a burden. Like it's normal. It's very easy when you put like when you ask someone someone to come for a party he, he will feel so joyful so happy so excited to join you you know if you will tell somebody let us go and watch football match the person will always be excited to watch matches you know feel so happy if you put a dance you know put uh, cultural music Many of us will find it so easy to do. But when you say, let us pray, it, 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 it looks as if prayer is difficult. It looks as if prayer is difficult. You know, the problem is that we do not know what prayer is. If we know what prayer is, we should not take prayer as a burden. Because now, there are a few things, and let us talk about prayers. The few things we have to, we have to know about prayers. During prayers, you talk with God. I mean, you in, in in prayer, prayer is not a discussion with with any person. Prayer is a conversation with a spiritual being. Okay, prayer is a conversation with God, with with uh, angelic beings, with heavenly bodies. Okay, prayer is a a communication with the spiritual, like this. Yeah, with the spiritual. Okay, so now, when you discuss with the spiritual, there is a closeness. Gradually, you begin to get close to that spiritual being. 
so when you know that three prayers we are communicating with god you want to communicate with god then prayer should give us there should be this joy there should be this joy to meet god i, I don't know there should be this you should, you should find it very very happy so excited to go and meet god to discuss with god with god to converse with god okay to talk with an angel let us let us just see prayer in as as this so do not see prayer as a burden when we see prayer as a burden it becomes so difficult you see it as if oh why are people pushing me prayer is supposed to be part of our being prayer is supposed to be a lifestyle it's supposed to be part of our daily activities okay because in the day you have to assign your god at least one hour and talk with your god so prayer should not be a burden beloved do not get tired of praying do not get weary of praying always pray okay and do not pray only when you need something from god do not pray only when you need miracle do not pray only when you need healing from god in first thessalonians 5 17 paul says pray without season pray in season and out of season okay let prayer be part of us let prayer be our lifestyle let prayer be part of our daily activities jesus says in march 26 41 he says watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation in ephesians 6 18 paul says pray at all times in the spirit pray at all times so let us always make prayer as a daily activity have this hunger have this hunger to come in the presence of god okay we say we love god okay you you say you love god if, if they ask us do we love god we say yes we love god then if you love god coming in the presence of someone you love should not be a burden okay if god is our father because you say god god is my father if, if they ask us you say god is my father now if god is my father and i know and i believe and i totally strongly affirm and believe that god is my father then coming in the presence of my father should not be a burden okay let us let us practice what you profess it's not just uh, believing by mouth let us put it into practice okay so prayer see prayer as something you have to do see it as your daily activity do not just wait until after many months maybe you want to go you want, you want to go and seek for employment you, you are seeking for job you are seeking for healing you want miracle you need something from god that is when you now remember okay let us now go and pray to god no that is when we do it we are treating god as if god is a machine okay as someone that we use to get what we want god is not an atm god should be part of our lives god should be part of our part of our daily activities god should be part of everything we do let us not remember god only when we are in challenges or difficulties beloved okay let us stop treating prayer as a burden feel happy to pray to your god feel happy to pray to someone you love if you love god feel so happy to pray to him okay in the life of jesus christ you can know you can see that the life of jesus is always accompanied with prayer before he chose his apostle jesus christ prayed before he fed the multitude jesus prayed even when he wanted to ascend into heaven he prayed even in the in gethsemane when he wanted to enter into suffering jesus prayed and also before he he ascended into heaven he, he also prayed to the father so prayer is and supposed to be part of our lives part of our daily activities beloved see it as something you have to do it is it will be part of you okay and also one of the problems that we do have is that 
maybe we think that there must be we there must be a, 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 a celebration before we pray you know we must go to the mountain we must go to this place even while you, even while you walk you can be praying in your mind okay you can so also set aside a particular time to communicate with your god okay so let it be part of your life see prayer as part of your life and not as a burden so beloved i pray for you today that as you listen to this message may god feel in you the the spirit of prayer and may the holy spirit empower you spiritually and may the power of god be with you as you listen to this message may his wisdom and inspiration guide you and whenever you stand to pray may the power of god flow out from you against any spirit that you pull you down thereby i pray for you tonight that as you listen to this message may you receive a powerful gift from your creator that you use to pull down every strong god of the evil one no occultic power can have any effect on you thereby i pray for you today may you enjoy a blissful night rest may no weapon fashion against you may the angels of god protect you may you sleep blissfully may you enjoy it may the power of the most high overshadow you tonight thereby i bless you today in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen beloved if you listen to this message and you love it please try and subscribe to the channel and also share to others god bless you i remain your humble servant father santus mario remain blessed